Hey everybody, it's Angie with Heart Wellness Coaching. Happy Monday. So I started the day off with a post, um, who's, who's starting the week on little sleep and feeling tired? And that is definitely me. As many of you know who, if you follow me, I am, I've moved out of the, my master bedroom and uh, have set up my, my sleeping arrangements in the garage. And since I did that, I have also ran a 50K trail race um, so like 32, 33 miles. Uh, and so, yeah, it's been kind of crazy. I've been, um, I've, I spent a night in my garage and then I slept at my parents' house the night before and the night after the race because I didn't want to, um, I didn't want to risk getting very poor sleep before the race and I really wanted to get a good night's sleep after the race. Last night I slept at my friend's place in, at, uh, in a yurt and didn't get the best sleep there. So my friend joked that I'm kind of living the, the rock star life, like never know where I'm gonna be uh, sleeping, where the next bed the next bed I'm gonna be sleeping in. So um, it's kind of a crazy time right now. And uh, I am planning on trying to get, trying to sleep in the garage and make that a more consistent place um, because it's hard. It's hard changing up where you sleep, like there's, we, we do need some consistency around sleep and where we are and, and getting into routines. So, but I wanted to hop on because I, I also just want to share this whole idea of uh, getting out of your comfort zone and embracing risk. So without risk, there's no reward, right? Like the, the, the bigger the risk in life, the bigger the reward. And, and yes, the bigger the risk, the bigger the risk, you know, that it's, that it's not going to turn out. Uh, however, if you are staying in your comfort zone and you're never pushing outside that because to get outside your comfort zone is scary and it's change and what if it doesn't work out and what if I look silly and what if I disappoint myself, what if I disappoint my family, what if I disappoint my friends, all of the what ifs. So we stay in these little comfort bubbles and we tell ourselves it's okay, but it's not okay. Because as my mentor says, your comfort zone is where your dreams go to die. Nothing changes in our comfort zone. We don't grow in our comfort zone. We don't become stronger versions of ourselves in our comfort zone. What, what, what happens in a comfort zone? I mean, it's like if you don't go to the gym and lift weights, your muscles don't get stronger. If you don't sit with uncomfortable emotions, you don't develop the muscle of, of um, perseverance. We have to get out of our comfort zones. And doing the 50K race for me, I have a dream. <laughs> yes. um, we, have to, um, we have to embrace risk. I did, I signed up to do the Mac Forest 50K back in May and I, I DNF'd. So DNF is a, a runner's term for did not finish. Um, I had to drop out at mile 20 at the top of McCulloch Peak because my whole lower half of my body was just in spasm. And it sucked, you know, it sucks to DNF because you disappoint yourself and you, you know, there's all these th thoughts that go through your mind of what if I just can't do this anymore? And, and you, know, you know, what if I'm just a wimp? What if I could have finished, but I'm just, I just wimped out? And you have all these thoughts. And so what did I do? I signed up for another one. And I'm not trying to toot my own horn here. I'm just saying, we have to keep trying. We have to keep pushing. We have to, we can't just say, Oh, I failed once, so it's just not going to happen for me. So get out of your comfort zone, I guess is my, um, my biggest message. And, and see what you're capable of. And I just feel like so many people are afraid to push out of their comfort zone, again, because they're afraid they're going to let themselves down. But what are you not achieving by staying comfortable? What are you, what are you not achieving what are you not getting in life because you're just like it's too risky risk equals reward i mean every time my friend sarah and i talk about this all the time we sign up for we we plan a big long trail run we have no idea if we're going to be able to finish it we have no idea if our body's going to hold up the whole time we you have no idea there's so many unknowns so you try you just keep trying and if you 
If you fail, then you learn something, you look, you do an inventory, you figure out, you know, what, what was it? What made me fail? What did I learn? And how do I apply that going forward? That's what it's all about. That's what life is all about. Trying to, trying to improve your health, trying to lose weight. It's all getting out of your comfort zone because we use food for comfort all the time. We use food for comfort. So we have to get out of our comfort zone, get out of our own way, embrace risk, risk failure, and recognize that failure is only failure if you don't learn something. And failure is, is only a, is, it's only permanent when you decide it is. We can fail over and over and over. There's the term failing forward. Keep failing forward. When you fail forward, you've learned something. You're, you've moved forward on the path because every time you fail, you're taking note, what happened there? Why did I fail? What can I learn? I'm now further along on the path because I've learned something. And you can apply it to anything. You can apply it to changing your diet, to starting an exercise regimen, to trying to get into a meditation routine, to trying to stick to a yoga routine, whatever it is. We have to get out of our comfort zone. We have to break things up. We have to shake things up. If your comfort zone is hitting the snooze three times and then finally dragging yourself out of bed and getting dressed and getting ready for work in a rush and you know barely making it to work on time, shake things up, go to bed earlier, set your alarm and don't hit snooze. Put your phone or your alarm on the other side of the room where you have to get up and get out of bed to be able to turn it off. And then immediately hit your yoga mat or go sit down in a place where you can meditate Drink a tall glass of water. Go outside. Get natural light into your eyeballs early in the morning. Shake it up. Do something different. Challenge yourself. Maybe you want to sign up for a 5K or a 10K or a half marathon. Challenge yourselves. You, you'll be so happy you did. So that is my story. I, I, I failed. I got back up, I signed up for another 50K, I ran the 50K, and it was not pretty. <laughs> it was not pretty. I, I took a big flying superwoman um, fall on the trail, and luckily I didn't hurt myself. I came very close to a branch that was sticking up that could have easily punctured me, and I, I it was like really lucky I didn't fall on it, but it was a big flying superwoman fall. It was, it was not pretty. I was, you know, jumping into the bushes for, I won't go into the details, but I did it. I did it. I got out there. I crossed the finish line. So again, I'm not saying this to toot my own horn. I'm just saying it feels good to risk failure because when you achieve something, there's so much reward. And if you don't, at least you get to say that I tried. At least I tried. I didn't just sit back in my little comfort bubble and watch everybody else doing things. I got out there. I tried. You get so many points for just trying. So that's it, people. I just wanted to share that. I hope you're having a, fab a fantastic Monday. If you need any help on your health or wellness journey, I'm a functional medicine wellness coach. And hey, Keith, happy that was helpful to you. Um, but yeah, reach out, direct message me, comment below, find me on heartwellnesscoaching.com. I would love to help you on your health and wellness journey and have a really fantastic rest of your Monday. Bye-bye.